All righty, start of day nine. Uh, finally hit dirt. Um, headed to Ortonville. Uh, which start has been a little frustrating because uh, uh, I had to create a route, created a route, tried to create a route on a Garmin, but it's just I don't know. It's so frustrating. It seems almost impossible. But uh, created a route on Gaia, which went really, really smooth. Then I used Drive. Uh, the Garmin Drive app to transfer it to my Garmin, which I did. It, that worked just fine. And then uh, <clears throat> when I took off on my on my route, left uh, the campground this morning. Uh, I knew I had to be on highway for a little bit because there's no other way out of uh, the uh, uh, Grand River Casino area, the Grand River campground, without taking uh, some tar. But I kept going and going on the highway, going, 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 highway 12. I'm like, this is weird. I thought I was supposed to turn off pretty quick. And and then I uh, zoomed out on Garmin. It had me taking highway the whole way. I'm like, Garmin, <laughs> I made a route with all kinds of dirt on it. And you completely changed it, completely changed it, uh, like 99% changed. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to try out Gaia for the first time for actually uh driving directions and see how that goes um my route's in there i have it downloaded to offline maps so if there are any glitches i don't know if you can see that if there are any glitches uh, it should go okay i think but uh we'll see how it goes i it's been really kind of really windy today not as bad as yesterday but i found this uh little pond area with some trees and there's some relief from the wind, so that's good. It looks like it's uh, overcast too. Hope I don't get any rain today, but I uh, uh, thought I'd just hang out here and start the video. And uh, I've got around 200 miles to go. I'm going to Ortonville, Minnesota, and that's uh, gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, I need to get home tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, sometime and uh doing 200 miles today on the t-dub is going to be a lot a lot a lot so i've done it before but uh we'll see how it goes uh, basically i'm going through uh let me see uh left mow bridge i'm headed down to head south and east south and east south and east and then i have to go on a highway a little bit and I hit, what's that little town there? Falkton, Falkton uh, South Dakota. And south and east, south and east. South and east. Just keep going. Uh, and hit the highway again, 212. And then around, around, around. There's a little town there called Clark, South Dakota. I have to hit highway again for a bit. Why I don't know, but I do. And off. And I go up around this lake. Thought that might be cool. Cross I-29. And over, over, over. Over, over, over. And back a little bit north. And then right there, I end up at Big Stone Wild National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, that's in South Dakota, I believe, and then on the other side is Ortonville. So that is my tentative route for today. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a long haul. I know there's camping in Redfield. I've camped there before. It's pretty nice. So Falkton, I might top off with gas just to make sure. But for now, I'm going to go right here and see how it goes. All righty. Uh, I will update as I go. Wanted to rearrange a little bit because it looks like I've got some weather ahead. Maybe, maybe not. Try and keep my phone as uh, dry as possible. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. That could be a bummer if I had to ride home or ride to Ortonville in the rain. Such a nice day when I left Lowbridge. It was 75, sunny. Now it's north of Tempest now. Not warm. 
I'm not signed, but it is. It says 81. No, it's not. Travel at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen. Travel at your own risk. Been, somebody's been down here. Some tire tracks. As you know, I've been on some pretty rough roads. This one ain't bad. That tall. No ruts, no rocks, no mud. Speaking of mud, he's still wearing these stupid glasses. Right now, everything looks wet. Eat that. Looks like it might get a little little something something up here I gotta change these glasses I hate this this is the last trip I'm taking with these glasses that's for sure that is for sure see see those eye gogs I mean they're good sunglasses. I like them when I'm not riding. <laughs> when I'm riding, it's uh, not fun. So I'm going to get my clear bifocals out. These guys here. Ooh, they're dirty. Where's the path around? Looks like right down the middle. Right down the middle will work. Here. Pleasant. Seen a lot of them today. The tractor was having fun in here. It's pretty soft and gooey right here. But this is the end of it right here. That wasn't bad at all. This looks. I'm gonna go slow on this. Get the little birdies. Run, little birdie. Run, little birdie. <laughs> Oops, messed up my mirror. They want to go from here straight. might have to turn around oh boy yep that's water all right dang Look how deep it is ah, shoot <laughs> shoot 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 I think there was a road back there though ah nah I can't do that No can do oh Very squirrely gravel. Little cows. How bad the corners are. Squirreliness. And that's nothing. Here's our creek again. Dang it! 
<laughs> Maybe I can get through this one. I bet you I can. Let's see. Let me see. Oh yeah. No problem. I'm gonna go kind of slow though. Yes, we made it. We made it. Water crossing in South Dakota. Oh, that was deep, man. Not that one, but where I had to turn around. Three, four feet. No way would I make that. Uh uh, ain't happening. Not on the key does. Maybe on the KDM, but not on this little guy. There's a creek there. Cool. Found another one. Hmm. <laughs> oh. That looks like a cool place. So I'm gonna take a little break. Let's ride over to that rock pile. That rock. I'm, I'm a rock hound. Maybe I can find something cool. Let's go look. Take a little break. Been riding for a little over three hours. This is this would be a good place to camp, wouldn't it? Well, alrighty then, let's see how this goes. Break is over. I don't know, I got this little shoulder over here, so might be okay. There's a lot, a lot of water in uh, eastern South Dakota, western uh, Minnesota, so they've been getting pounded, so we'll see. Let's go. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Riding high into the sun. <laughs> oh, it's probably going to be really easy. Unless there's a little valley thing in the rock. Let's get to the top of this hill and see what's going on here. Oh, geez, that's easy. Are you kidding me? That's the no maintenance? Uh -huh. The best no maintenance road I've ever been on so far. Look at all that water. It is wet in these parts. Where did this road go? I don't even know. Just follow it, I guess. Oh, heck yeah. I'm go slow in case there is some mud. But you never know, eh? You never know, man. Where'd my road go? Here? Hmm. I'm not sure. it continuing on anywhere. Does it just end? I don't see any tracks. Well, I see a fence there. There's something here. I see a swamp. T Dub doesn't go through swamps. Nope, can't make it through there. I doubt it. I doubt it. I you doubt it. Okay. Turn around. Looking tar east, trying to make time. It's a lonely country road, so why not? I can see anybody out here. No survey. I promised my wife I'd be home tomorrow, so <laughs> I gotta get out. Gotta 
make 210 miles today and uh, 200 tomorrow. So, whew, I've already been at it. Got 92 miles and I've almost four hours. I'm averaging 25 miles an hour. I feel slow. Oh, sleep is good. I need a coffee. Let's go get some coffee. Had to pull off the side of the road and need a pee break and man I wish I had a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's cold and I gotta get another layer on. I thought it was gonna be hot today, but no. Where am I? I am right there. I'm uh, southwest of Aberdeen by about, uh, I don't know, 25 miles maybe, 14, oopsie, that would be 14 to there in Aberdeen. I recalculated, I did some refiguring with uh, uh, my GPS and I got this little lonely country road that just goes and goes and goes and goes. Keeps me off the highway. But once I get into this lake region, things will change. I might have to, I don't know what I'll have to do. I'm not going to worry about it now, but I'm going to take a break, pee break, get another later on. Must have been a house here at one time. It's, seems like odd that there's trees around and nothing one sign of in South Dakota one sign of uh, there being a house close by trees otherwise you don't see trees <laughs> they just don't they don't exist it's always around houses all right I'm gonna look around take a leak let's find a place to camp I think I see a spot right over there I'm in the uh, little town of Bristol, South Dakota. Let's see if we can't get up in there. I believe so. Wendy is back out here, man. Whoa! We're tired of the wind. I'm talking about no maintenance we know how these no maintenance roads go they're pretty good just be able to get right back in here gotcha Perfect. Thank you. off the wind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
that other spot better. Oh. Got a bunch of logs underneath me. Trees. Trees and junk. Shorter. Yep. Try See if that'll work. We'll figure it out, though. We'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. Well, folks, if you made it this far, congratulations. That's the end of day nine. I kind of gave up the, the ride because I was <laughs> just tired and cold from all the wind and just struggling with the wind and whatnot. It was a long day. I made 172 miles, and I ended up stealth camping in the spot you see here. And I uh, made it to Bristol, South Dakota, and... I learned an important lesson or tip or trick, whatever you want to call it, about stealth camping. Uh, as you can see in this picture, the grass is kind of long, which was, uh, uh, I wasn't sure about it, but actually what ended up happening, uh, that grass, that long grass ended up uh, giving me a little bit uh, more of a layer of, of R value. It kept me separated from the ground a bit. I do have an air mattress, but it just provided that much more uh, protection for me. And uh, it was actually, uh, kept me really warm throughout the night. It's probably one of the best nights sleeping I've had, stealth camping I ever. Uh, it was pretty cool, but uh, it did end up storming pretty bad that night, um, which was, you know, whatever. Uh, there's a ton of ton of water in this area in Bristol, western Minnesota, eastern South Dakota. They just got pounded. So you can see all the water that I had to deal with. But anyways, thanks for... Uh, paying attention as long as you have i appreciate it so we will see you next week and as i actually make it home on day 10 all right frostbite out adios <laughs>